What's good with YouTube? Y'all know Big Flocker with the comics reaction where we're going to smash, dash, and react. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel. And hit that bell notification one time because you're going to get some more fire reactions. So we're going to take this on the convict level. We're going to look at Puff Daddy, Puff Diddy, P. Diddy, Sean Combs, whatever you want to call him, right? The one individual who has been so much in the media publications lately, right, over so many issues. He just barely skated by on the issues regarding Tupac. And I still think that they're going to have more questions about him, right? But we're going to get to these sexual allegations about him, right? Now, recently, new allegations were brought up, the fourth one. And it talks about an underage 17-year-old that was brought across state lines from New Jersey who was basically assaulted in a deviant manner, drugged and, and whatnot, on behalf of where uh, visiting P. Diddy. Okay, 17 years old, right? Now, Look at all these other cases, the, ca the case with his ex, uh, Cassie and all that, which he just settled out of court. And he has all these other 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 cases that he has going on. But besides these cases, right, there has been issues that have been brought up about his basic, basically his sexual orientation from time to time. That he has, he's such a, um, I guess you can call it nympho, nymph that regular sex has just does not satisfy him anymore with all that money he's been with so many fucking women right he probably has a sexual appetite for different things and he continues to explore different things which has led him to get in trouble which has led him to do certain things where look kind of bizarre or strange you know and then you got 50 cent that's been dropping hints about pdd for years then you have the situation with wendy williams that you know i heard that he was able to get her basically fired at one time from a radio station so He's been trying to cover up stuff that he's done for years. And you would look at him as far as the money he's been able to make, right, and generate and the businesses he's established. That he's looked at as far as an elite circle of individuals in this world. He's a money maker. Money talks. Now, sometimes you could sit there and say, OK, they're on it for the money. These stories probably have to remain true. There's probably more to it. Right. But it's the stuff that's not being you know, brought up for, for charges, the weird shit, the stuff that other people have seen, other fucking musicians that are coming out openly admitting now, okay? And I'm a firm believer where there's smoke, there's usually a fire. It's not like this is an isolated first, first incident, right? It's multiple. And this is like the, how it always happens, right? I'm pretty sure that there's been cases that have been reported on him that have yet to surface, right? But that no investigators looked into. They didn't probe into it. They didn't, you know, cover, you know, Every um every angle to see if the allegations were true. When you got that type of money, shit gets swept under the rug. Favors are, are made, right? And sometimes people turn a blind eye. Now, from a convict's you know reaction to this, right? The only thing I see is a man that has many many skeletons, right? That he's afraid to fucking put out there because of his image, you know. So his passion for uh you know sexual pleasure has got him crossed up in so many different situations. Has burnt relationships with different artists and and whatnot because quite as it's kept right we all know what happens when you start to make allegations look at terry cruz you guys all knew terry cruz was right once he made allegations about being attacked by certain people in hollywood do you see him in the movies anymore no you don't you don't see him on any type of fucking videos or movies right after he went vocal as a voice p diddy sean combs had that type of power he did it to Wendy Williams like over 20 years ago, right? Now, also the, the artist Banks, right, the singer, right? She's also made claims because she was cl close with Cassie, right, about that there was hidden things with P. Diddy sexually that he took it out on his ex. So P. Diddy is a man of mystery. You know, you see him when he does all these events and he's all fucking talkative and he's a you know powerful individual, right? But behind closed doors, the... Only men parties, the the parties, the sending for females, the underage females, and you know the the trans they ran on certain females, and the manipulation and all the crazy shit. Right, there has to be some truth to what everybody's saying about this man. Therefore, when you have enough people that are making claims, and they're not just people who are in it for the money, they're not in it for the fame. These are actually people who already have an established career and can kind of risk their career by saying shit about him. You start to think, okay, you know what? There must be some truth to what's being said. Especially that he already fucking um, basically settled one case out of court. 
There was also a period in 2019 where he was depressed. And some say it could have had to do with his sexual frustration. You know, um, he's sitting there trying to explore different ways in which to satisfy himself. And it just isn't satisfying him. When you've been with that many women and you have that many parties, you just turn it out. You're going to start to you're going to start to feel the effects of sexual impotency <laughs> straight up, you know, and it seems like maybe, you know, these recent allegations is what gave him the thrill, which is a sick minded individual. Like I said, ma'am, I'm just keeping it raw and real. Do sick. You know, there's nothing righteous about this dude. People that have that type of money feel that they can get away with fucking anything. It's almost like they get off on the power that they have and that they could do as they please. And that's been proven time and time again, right? With the one individual, right? Um, everybody used to go to his island and all that. They killed himself when he was in the county jail. Same type of individual. The needs to have that power and control is what gets these people off, man. Because they're sick individuals, man. Straight up. As a convict, man, we, you know, you're, you've been in the game long enough to read people and read their actions, their body language, their responses. And it doesn't take much to look from someone that's a convict, not just your regular, your regular uh, John Doe out in the streets, but someone who can read people's psychological looks and views and just body language changes. There's some guilt behind some of the stuff that's being said about them. 100. 100 percent. And it's kind of interesting that all this came out right around the time when there was allegations with the, the Tupac Shakur situation with that death, you know, pretty much circulating some things pointing towards uh, Puff Daddy. You know, and now he got this on his table. Now, the only thing that, you know, with the people who are making accusations, I hope that if you're making an accusation, I would like for them not to be true because those are terrible things that are being accused of, right? But I hope that, say if you have two or three that are valid accusations, right, but you have one that's fucking bullshit where the person is not telling the truth. If you get one that's revealed that's bullshit, that's going to have a fucking domino effect man it's gonna fucking help diddy and all these other cases right that people are only in it for the money so as people are making these accusations and, and lowering up right think about whether you really have a case or if you're telling the truth because there's some people that want that handout and they don't realize that doing that if exposed is going to affect his fucking case like for instance if i see somewhere okay it's proven one or two people have lied then I'm going to question the rest of these people. I'm saying, you know what, man? This could just be a whole thing about getting that money off this dude. You know, it's like it's like throwing spaghetti at the wall. Let's see who we can get to stick so we get some money off this dude. Now, I'm not saying that's happened because I don't believe it. Because, like I said, there's so much other shit going on that's, you know, that he's not going to be held for, you know, criminal charges because they're not criminal cases. But they signal that he's fucking a weirdo, okay? Now, in a criminal court, though, once you start to have people who are discredited in their, in their testimonies, right, or accusations, it kind of affects all the other cases. Let's just be honest, man. Um, I bet you, I bet you Puff Daddy's going to settle all these court cases outside the court. He's going to pay. He's going to say, fuck it, let's pay, let's get this over, let's move forward. Because the sooner he gets it, all these cases swept into the rug, the quicker he can go back to making his money and do what he's been doing. And I guarantee you he's going to be a little bit less... Um, bolsterous about his, you know, parties and, and, and the things that he was doing sexually. And because it's all out there, man, you know, and, and that's that's a really personal, intimate stuff to be put out there on someone, man. So but he put himself in that position, you know, once you got people claiming fucking rape, the rest is history. You're open game for people to look into everything that you've done. And a lot more people are coming forward with things that you've said or done or questionable acts. With that said, man, as a convict, man, my reaction, man, is this. Where there's smoke, there's fire, man. Just got to see how far it burns.